In a steady turnout at the polls today, Julia Fellow has been checking out several voting locations. She joins us live in West Dallas. Julia. That's right, Mike, and we are here at Nathan Hale High School. This is just what we were expecting, historic turnout here. People continuing in these long lines beside the long lines you see right here. There's another one to get inside just to know where you're going. What you're looking at live is expected to be a historic turnout for a midterm election. I think that's the longest I've ever seen the lines, you know. Um, I think, yeah, that's the highest number I've ever been. In West Dallas, a city that tends to lean Democratic, voters explain why they chose Mary Burke. Because I'm a public works employee, so, yeah. Others not revealing who they voted for, but why they won their vote. I don't know, I just feel the passion from that candidate. <laughs> In the Republican stronghold of Waukesha County, the city of Brookfield boosted their number of poll workers by a third in anticipation of a record turnout. It's not a surprise you drive around Brookfield and you'll see Scott Walker signs everywhere. Go ahead. There are 1,212 registered voters here in the ward that we are in in West Dallas. That's Ward 22. And if you take a look after this ballot goes through, there are about more than 700. That was expected. There's expected to be a 70% voter turnout, so that's more than 50% right now. So it's expected to reach historic levels. We also heard from the Government Accountability Board. They said that there's going to be a record turnout. They do expect that. But so far, there have been no major snafus, that is, at this time. Reporting live from West Dallas, Julia Fellow, today's TMJ4. Yeah, big turnout there and elsewhere. Thanks, Julia.